Welcome to another episode of Wikipedia Files here at ChicagoPublicRadio.org. You know, when the 848 producer came to me earlier this morning, he said, you know, uh, David Rashi's coming into studio. Uh, he's in a new movie, In the Loop. Uh, he's also in Ugly Betty. That's what he said. David Rashi. The man behind, the man that we know as Sledgehammer is in studio, and I can't believe that he didn't even... It was like it's like introducing George Bush and not mentioning he was president. Right. I right. Mean, it's sort of the same. It is the same. It's, it's the exact, exact same. same. It's the exact same. I know what you're about. David, it is a pleasure. And, um, you know, what we do here in the... Um, this is being, uh, fil- uh, uh, what do you call it, videographed? Yeah. Oh. No, videoed by a phone. I by a phone. Want, so the quality's not good. I just want you, you to would know be, you'd be that surprised. is the reason. You'd be surprised. No, it looks I, good. It looks okay. good. Okay, all right. I'm just good. saying, if there, whatever. I know you're a big Hollywood guy. You're used to the big cameras. You know, big, big, huge. It's big, huge. Better. <laughs> so what we do here on Wikipedia Files is we fact check your Wikipedia page. Okay. And I look, <clears throat> you've had such a great career. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, and it mentions it in this very small Wikipedia entry. But I will say, you need to... Mentions like, what? Well, it mentions, okay, look what it, it mentions... Uh, a little bit of your history about being in Chicago at Second City. Does it it says, me as Jamie Foxx. It does. And sometimes I, if, I, if I go to yeah. Jamie Foxx, my resume is much bigger. You know, it's funny. It's fun. I, I thought that. I saw the yeah. Jamie Foxx, and I was like, David Rashi is Jamie, Jamie Foxx. I always said that yeah, to yeah, my yeah, friends yeah. and family. That's I was funny. like, maybe it's like an alter ego thing. Yeah. Um, it says here, the first thing I want to ask, in 1974, okay. he fronted $1,000 to help start Victory Gardens Theater. That's Chicago. true. That's yeah, true. I was one of the founding members. So That's you fronted a grand. Right. That was before anybody. It was me and Cordis Hurd and uh, Cecil O'Neill and a couple of other people. Yeah. Yep, that's what we did. Okay. And, uh, yep, that's true. Okay. okay, so we'll put a check mark next to that. Um, now, here's where, here's where it gets kind of, I think you need some work on the page. Okay. You, you have a whole, they have a chapter for Sledgehammer. Oh. Um, oh. But here's, the, here's what you have. You have, he played the title role in the 1980s series Sledgehammer. Well, that's wrong right there. Right away. 86. 86. So I guess, well, that would be late 80s. Oh, it's his late 80s. It says late 80s. Said, Sorry, did I oh. say 80s? Um, late 80s, 1986. Okay. We can change that. No, that's fine. No late 80s. A spoof series about a violent and chauvinistic policeman. All true. That's it. Yeah. That's it on one of the most, uh, uh, I, I would say, influential television programs of my generation. Uh, and you have one line. You have to have more. It's more, more. Give effective. us some Even saucy more, stories. More Give us something the, good about Sledge. Anything news. What do you mean? Well, I mean, let's say I have executive admin privileges for Wikipedia, and I can, and I can, I can, because anybody well, can. That's I, the beauty of know, Wikipedia. I think that's for others to do. Yeah, I but, wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't deign to. Give us, give us something good, yeah. like, uh, like, were you part, like, were you in a big party phase at the time? Were you partying with the guys from Hunter? No, no, they were on the same time. Though. Yeah, I know. No, no. What we tried to do is we, tr- we tr- it was really hard to to get everybody to understand what was going on because it was really sort of an anti violent sort of deal, you know, but it was, we did it by being more, you know, right. so, so Sledgehammer had a, you know, a bumper sticker that said, I heart violence and stuff like that. But they had, uh, we, one time we did, uh, ABC wanted to do a, a promotion and they thought, well, what does his uh, apartment look like? So it was like this arsenal with guns. And I said, no, it's just the opposite. <laughs> right. You know, they was getting into it. Oh, guns, man. Yeah. And I said, no, the opposite of that. <laughs> so we didn't actually do that one. And then when you in the in the show when you saw it's a very Spartan apartment with, you know, almost nothing and one gun. Right. He only needs one gun. <laughs> he only needs one gun. That right? gun. <laughs> so that's what it should have been called. That the, gun. When I, you know, cross referenced the uh Sledgehammer page, um, it said that you had the uh the mi- fortune or misfortune of going opposite Cosby show in season two. That's well, well the first thing that happened was we were opposite Miami Vice and Dallas. Those were the biggest shows in the history <laughs> of the tube. And uh, then, they were on Friday nights, and then they wanted, they, Cosby was on Thursday night, and nobody had any ideas of what to do. So our PR, the PR guys for New World, started this campaign and said, Sledge will stand up to Cosby. <laughs> and there was this big, uh, big step up. Cut out of me with my gun and like that, you know. Sledge will take him on. I mean, everybody knew it was yeah. a suicide mission, yeah. you know. But what the hell? With the, but we the got character. another year out of it. Yeah, they got another year. Oh, that was very clever. Uh, so, uh, sticking with the sledgehammer, yeah. uh, you know, 
I remember the show being. You were about four. I was probably. No, I was probably. Five, you know, uh, six. 10, 11. Yeah, okay, 12. all right. Come on, me and you were in the same generation. I know, generation. I was getting you the decades. So right, had, right. You're between zero and 10. I was really yeah. drawn to Sidekicks, which was, I think was right before your show because okay. a kid was doing karate oh, yeah. and I was about the same age. And you were kind of like the afterthought, the next. I think you were after him. Or, that could be. Yeah. So I had a question about like yeah. that time where you. Hanging out with that sidekicks crew? No, or, God, no. Everything's no, Marita. Every, everything is totally separate. You're not. No, you didn't, never uh, hung out with. No, you guys no, never party? no, no, no. We didn't. It, it doesn't work like that. You know, it's, it's, it's like do you hang out with the guys from WLS? On no. occasion. Do you really? Yeah, okay, no. wrong. <laughs> you, know, you go to Billy Goats and get. But loaded. I mean, you know, I mean, it wasn't like that. Wasn't it's, like it's, I just no, thought no, that no. in my head that you and Pat Marita were like best friends. No, it's and, it's it, we our our show was shot way out in Valencia. We were like nowhere. One of the first shows were way outside Los Angeles. Okay, so all, I all this stuff. I know, I know. You can go keep, keep thinking that, though. I want to keep thinking yeah, that. Yeah, I'm I just going to, if it's okay, absolutely. can we put that in Wikipedia that Pat Marita and. Movie. You just seen this movie in the loop. Have you seen it? I haven't. No. You will love it. I will love it. Okay. Because it says like that, you know, it's, it's, it, you know it, it, it is a fact. It doesn't mean it's true. There you go. That, it's a fact. The, that's, the, that's the basis of Wikipedia, right? There Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs>